Hi, I'm joined here today with Hollyport's new manager, Sam Look. Firstly, Sam, first few weeks as manager of the club, how is it different from being the assistant and are you happy with how things are going in pre-season so far? Yeah, um, really enjoyed it. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new project moving forward. Last season, uh, the club were very new to the league and the level um, and there was a period of evolution if I'm honest and I think if you look at the form over the last maybe 10-12 games we were very good and I think if we performed like that throughout the whole season we would have been mid-table. Um, we knew we needed to do better and obviously coming into pre-season having the opportunity to come on board as, as a first team manager I'm, I'm really excited, um, really looking forward to the challenge and I think there's definitely a been an evolution over the pre-season in terms of the squad um, and We've got a bit younger, if I'm honest, a um, bit more energetic and players that maybe are moving up the ladder as opposed to coming down. Obviously, former assistant at Maidenhead United, how are you carrying your experience over from Maidenhead and applying it to Hollyport? Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of experience through football. I've been involved in it in what, 12, 15 years now in management and really enjoyed it. Um, and I think you take any experience, positive or negative, and you take it forward with you. I think this is the right challenge for me. I was fortunate to have other opportunities, maybe higher up the pyramid, but I felt that what was put to me here was something I want to be a part of. Um, I enjoy working with young players and producing young players and progressing young players, and I, I, I'm going to get the opportunity to do that here. Um, I don't think there's a better club at Step 5 to be at as a, as a young lad between the ages of maybe 18 and 25 uh, than here. I think it's proven. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of the lads that are playing throughout this season progress onto a good standard of football. Uh, speaking of Maidenhead United, how good was it to see some familiar faces when they come down for a friendly? What did that mean for Hollyport? Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, fortunate enough, we're very local to the to Hollyport, so it'd be great to see as many Maidenhead fans come down here when they can't get to the away Maidenhead games. It was fantastic of Dev to bring such a strong side. Um, yeah, a really strong side. We took it as an opportunity. I felt we were actually competitive for a lot of the game. I mean, they've got unbelievable quality, some fantastic players, people like Sam Barrett that played in the league. And it was great for our lads to have the opportunity to put ourselves up against them and test ourselves. Uh, losing 7-0, you lose nothing in that. I, I gave the opportunity to everyone that deserved it. Everyone that's been training there, we've got minutes on the pitch. And it, it, was, it shows what the club's all about. And moving forward, it'd be great to have many more days like that. Uh, you mentioned earlier about the, a lot of young faces coming into the team. How has that changed the? Um, how has that changed how the team are playing? How has it changed the dressing room? Yeah, I, I feel that last year it was very much lacy, sit in, defend, try not to lose, and if you nick something, fantastic. And we've moved away from that. Well, we're a different animal completely this season, and we're going to look to go and beat teams. We're going to look to go and win games, uh, and that has to be the mentality of the club. I mean, it was the mentality I've always liked to do: is go and win games, go attack teams, and go on the front foot. Uh, I want to see us play. I think anyone that came and watched us maybe against Marlow in pre-season will see the way that we want to play. It was very end-to-end, -end, very open. Um, and we were looking to score goals. And I think as any young player, they, they don't want to sit and defend all game and win headers in their own box. They want to go and be um, enthusiastic and be creative in the final third of the pitch and look to make things happen. Obviously, it's a new league format. A lot of new teams in there. Do you think it'd be a tough challenge or do you think we've... Uh we've got enough strength in the team to hold our own this season I mean that's, that's the plan is to hold our own um, be competitive in every game we play um, I don't want us being rolled over and I wouldn't accept that as a team I think the, the aim will always be to stay up this season get to a certain amount of points and then from then look to kick on um, there's a lot of local derbies but there's also a lot of money in this league uh, money that we just simply don't have as a club but one thing we do have we have a fantastic work ethic we will be coaching these players. We're fortunate enough this season to have a very good surface to play football on. Uh, we've got the use of VO, so we can do a lot of analysis work. Um, and as I say, I'm going to coach this team. They're going to be competitive. They're going to win games of football. Um, and yeah, as I say, I'm really looking forward to it. Speaking of competitive, where's the Rangers away in the FA Cup? Because they're getting more competitive than that. I mean, I could say a few words about the draw. It's, it's, it's not the best of draws, let's be telling us the way at Risborough Rangers. I mean, yeah, we're going to go give it a go. These young boys want to go there and be competitive and hopefully we can have a few be a banana skin. That's what everyone wants to be. If you're an underdog, it's great to cause a big upset and 
as I say, to, I said to the boys, the team talk's done. There's not one person that looks at that result and thinks, oh, Hollyport will win that. It's everyone's thinking it's a foregone conclusion with Risper coming away with the result. So we'd love to go there and cause an upset. I'll make sure the boys are pumped. I'll make sure they're ready and we'll go give our best shot. Just a quick final word. Um, the media at the team this season has seen a massive increase. We've got the VO in, so obviously the analysation of players will be brilliant. All the games will be filmed now. How important is that for you as the manager? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big selling point. We can't offer money. We can't offer the opportunity to get these big wages like some of the league teams in our league. And I think it gives us an opportunity and gives me an opportunity to work with players to improve them. And I think anyone at any level, one thing they've got to do is want to win because you need that burning mentality. But to do that, you've also got to want to improve. And I think with the want to improve and, and that burning mentality to win, it's, it's a really good combination. And I feel that I can work with these players. They can watch their performances back. We can analyze what they're doing and we can progress them as players. Um, there will be players from this squad that progress on to play a very good standard of football. Um, some uh, need a bit of coaching and a bit of work into the way we want to play and a way to learn in their shape and learn their position. Um, some come here as a young player trying to learn their game from, from the very beginning and it's about nurturing them and putting them in a position to move forward. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thanks.